Hey guys, James here with Detailed Image, and today we're going to talk about how to compound black paint. Black paint, when it looks right, it is everyone's absolute favorite color, but when there's swirls and scratches, you sometimes want to just pull your hair out. Um, so what we're going to talk a little bit about today is the compounding process, right? That is kind of the initial polishing step the step that removes the defects, right? Um, kind of scrapes away that layer of paint or uh, scrapes is maybe a bad term, but uh, abrades the surface and kind of you're basically what you're doing is you're removing a microscopic layer of clear coat to the point where there's now no defects. Um, and the product that I kind of wanted to showcase today um, is Minzerna's Heavy Cut Compound 400, um, one of their kind of flagship compounds Previously, uh, it was under the name uh, FG400, which I know many of you have used and loved. Um, so just renamed the same awesome performance. Um, and the reason I wanted to kind of showcase this particular compound today was it's a compound that I've used throughout my detailing career. It's a compound that has low dust, heavy cut, but finishes down really, really nicely. So when I was kind of thinking about putting this video together, I was like, okay, what's, what's gonna be a good compound for the DIY, someone who's relatively inexperienced, but, a, but on the same side, but on the other opposite end of the spectrum, uh, a compound that a professional is really gonna enjoy and be like, wow, those are great results. Uh, Minzerna has always been known for super high quality polishes. Um, but this one in particular, I think for the compounding step is definitely something to look at. Um, so what we're kind of working on right now is, uh, this is a, a good client of mine. This is a Jaguar F-Type S uh, metallic black paint. I would call this probably on the medium hardness level, a uh, clear coat level. Um, what I'm referring to is, you know, how aggressive do you have to get on the paint to remove that defect? Um, and I would say we're kind of right down the middle. We're, you know, we're, we're not, it's not a soft clear coat. It's not a super hard clear coat. It's kind of right down the middle. Um, so that's kind of the first thing we're thinking about. The second thing um, we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, we're gonna we'll get a nice little 50-50 going. Um, we'll do a little uh, pre-correction um, pre wipe down with Car Pro Eraser, um, and we're gonna get right into it. Um, so let's, let's, start, uh, let's start with the tape. Um, got a little Car Pro uh, red tape to uh, have a nice little definitive 50-50 uh, so we can see our correction rate. So let's do that. And we'll go there. And I've always been, I'm getting in the habit more and more now, but uh, over the last couple of years, I've gotten into the habit of always doing a pre-correction wipe down. Um, so this is after your wash process. This is after the decontamination. So the car is clean, um, but it may be, you know, you've, you did the wash and decontamination yesterday. There's a little bit of dust on the car. Um, or maybe you just want to be certain there's just nothing left on that paint that could potentially throw another variable into our polishing. Um, so I've, I've really liked to, to, I've gotten the habit of doing that. And in something like uh, Car Pro Eraser is going to be great. Removing any residues that might be on that, on that paint work. Um, and then boom, we're going right into our, into our compounding step. Um, so. As far as what we have tool-wise, we have a Mark II Rupes 15. We have a Meguiar's microfiber cutting pad, five inch. Uh, and what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take our Heavy Cut Compound 400. We are gonna prime that face of that pad. Um, with microfiber pads in particular, um, I think priming is very important. Um, and what that's going to do is, so I have a decent amount of compound on the face of the pad, um, and I'm going to massage that compound into the fibers of the pad. And what that's going to do is now coat every single one of these fibers in abrasive liquid. So it's going to maximize our cutting ability uh, for this particular pad. This, this is my absolute go-to, never fail um, cutting pad. Um, which is why I wanted to kind of pair this with this particular compound. Um, but by, by, um, by priming it, you're kind of, uh, you're unleashing its potential. Um, so after we've done the priming, um, I like to add just typically maybe three additional dime size drops, um, and then you're, you're ready to go. Um, again, like we've talked about on many compounding and polishing videos, um, 
the, your, your first initial step is to kind of tap, 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 and kind of spread that compound around. I know we've kind of talked about that probably too much, but what this is gonna do is gonna uh, not have a giant slinging mess when you go and, and, start, and start the machine. So let me get, let's, let's bring you guys in. Um, we're gonna do a, an initial uh, compounding cycle. So what that means is crosshatch pattern, one cycle. So we're, we'll do a probably three or four passes, see the results, see the clarity, um, make some adjustments if we need to, but I wanna bring you guys right in so you can see exactly uh, how this compound performs. see what we got. Wipes off relatively easy, which is nice, doesn't fight you. And like right off the bat, I'm seeing that it's one of those compounds that does not leave an extreme haze to the paint. So the, the clarity from the compounding step is really, really, really good. I mean, I mean, is it, does it have some, some haze to it? Absolutely, right? A black paint is gonna be one of those paints that's gonna showcase that. But from a compounding perspective, if you're comparing it to other compounds, um, it was super low dust. I mean, there's almost, there is almost no dust. Um, a very, very mild haze that's gonna be easily corrected with your finishing, your, your, your ultra fine polishing step. Um, and it eliminated, I would say, 95% of the defects. So here, I mean, I guess when, I, you know, when, when I've been thinking about this compound, it's a compound that's extremely versatile. It's a compound that on a, so, on a, on a, on a softer paint, you're gonna get a ton of defect removal on a medium paint, a ton of defect removal, and on a hard paint, really nice defect removal while leaving a great finish on all of those paints. Um, obviously on a, on a black car and, and something that's relatively softer, there's gonna be some finishing steps that goes with it. But is this gonna, this is a totally easy two-step correction, which is awesome. Um, and on harder, lighter colored paints, you're gonna notice that you're gonna, you could pair this with um, a foam cutting pad, a foam polishing pad, and make this an awesome one step without a ton of cleanup because it's not dusting, it's not making a huge mess. Um, so versatility, the one word I think that describes heavy cut compound uh, 400 really, really well. I'm gonna take you guys in. I want you guys to see the 50-50 a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think Minzerna really killed it on this one. Um, definitely something to have in your arsenal um, for one steps, for light correction jobs. Um, uh, Minzerna, heavy cut 400, check it out. Thanks guys.